The Nintendo 64 was released in North America on September 29, 1996 as a fifth generation console competing with the Sony PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. Named after its 64-bit CPU and originally called the Nintendo Ultra 64 under Project Reality, Time Magazine praised its realistic movement and gameplay and named it Machine of the Year. The console was launched with two North American titles, Pilot Wing 64 and Super Mario 64. 387 games were created for the system, drawing heavy criticism. Nintendo opted for cartridge media over optical discs due to faster load times, a decision which cost Nintendo a lot of third-party support as developers would be constrained with minimized data capacity and increased production costs. Worldwide, the Nintendo 64 sold 32.93 million units, over half of that in the Americas. The lack of RPGs on the console led to poor sales in Japan. The console's best-selling title was Super Mario 64, selling 11.62 million copies. The Nintendo 64 was discontinued on November 30th of 2003. It would be Nintendo's final cartridge-based home console, and it remains one of the most recognized consoles in the world. What's up, YouTube? Raven Gamer again, and uh, I'm going to be taking apart my Nintendo 64. This is my original Nintendo 64 that uh, me and my brother bought on, on the release date. Uh, $499 and uh, over $200 after you factor tax in. But uh, I had a paperboy job back then and I had saved up, I think it was a little, little bit over a half of the money for it. And my brother pitched in the other half. And uh, I'm, I'm thrilled that I still own this in my original system. Um, the outside looks pretty good, it's not all that dirty, so I imagine the inside will look pretty nice. Um, there's, it looks like five, uh, screws on the bottom, and we're gonna need our 4.5 millimeter security bit to take these out. So we removed the screws and now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this uh, cover to the 64DD's expansion slot which was never released in the United States. It was released only in Japan and they only came out with nine games for the system, four of which were various Mario artists, Polygon Studios. Um, the, uh, once you get the screws out, then these feet come right off, set those to the side, and then the system should pull right apart so what you're seeing down here is the cartridge slot and it looks like it's got a couple Phillips screws in it and we're gonna take those off Okay, this is the plastic piece for the, uh, the cartridge's port. And what you see here is the doors, which we'll take, we'll take these out as well and set those to the side. And what you see right here is the expansion port for the, uh, the RAM upgrade for the Nintendo 64. And it appears as though I, I, we actually did do have the RAM upgrade for it, which I, I didn't even didn't know we had purchased the uh, the, the RAM expansion. My brother must have did that because I honestly don't remember doing it. But uh, we're going to take that out a little bit later when we actually go to clean this out, clean this off. And uh, right here you have the reset button and the power switch, or well the power button. Um, it's pretty standard for most systems. You could remove those if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave those in there. So here you have the uh, the system. Um, underneath all of this, you see the main. Well, you, you will see the main board. Um, we have the controller ports here. The uh, LED LED light for you know that tells you the system is on. We're going to get this uh, heat sink off, and then as soon as we remove this heat sink, that will open up uh, the uh, the main board.
Okay, rem we remove the screws on the heat sink, and it's pretty dusty and dirty, but pull the set pulls right off. So now we need to remove the, uh, the screws on the shielding. And next we're going to remove these screws on these plug ports for the composite cables and your power cord. Then the housing for the power or uh, the composite cables, I think. I might be wrong on that, but uh, that'll come right off. And then the entire circuit board will pop right out. Now, right here you have the Nintendo 64's uh, central processing unit, the CPU. Um, it says it's it's actually what gives the N64 its name. It's a 64-bit NEC. VR 4300. Um, it runs at 93.75 megahertz and can perform 125 MIPS, which stands for million instructions per second. This right here is the, the reality processing unit and uh, it's an integrated processor. Uh, it's both the RSP and the RDP. Uh, the RSP is the reality signal processor and handles all of the 3D controls and the sound. And the RDP is the reality display processor which handles pixel drawing operations. Here you have the RAM for uh, the Nintendo 64. Uh, it's uh, 4 megabytes of RD RAM. It's made by Rambus and stands for Rambus Dynamic RAM. If you have the expansion pack, the, uh, the jump pack, then it upgrades to 8 megabytes of RAM. Obviously this is the expansion slot for the, uh, the RAM upgrade. These are, this is a peripher peripheral interface chips. Right here you have the power switch and the reset buttons and controller ports over here. And this obviously is the, uh, the game pack port. And underneath, it actually goes all the way down and would hook up to the 64DD. Uh, had the 64DD been released in, in the United States, well, which it wasn't. And under here, you uh, you can we can see the uh, bottom of the plastic for the Nintendo 64. Now, after I remove these two uh, brackets, then I'm just I'm just going to dunk this in water and get that cleaned up really fast. And then uh, again, just make sure it's completely dry before we put it back together. We got it cleaned up. Uh, we cleaned the bottom up really nice and cleaned the top up really nice as well. Um, we did take these buttons off. There's two uh, these two side pieces right here. If you pinch them in and push down, then the buttons will come right out. So we pulled those out and we cleaned those. And as for the circuit board, I cleaned. The circuit board itself with a dry cotton swab cleaned around these ports and we got the uh, controller ports looking really nice again. So now uh, we're just going to put this back together. Okay, so we're going to start by putting the housing for the, com the composite cables on. You just slide this onto the end of that piece, make sure that the screw holes line up and then put the circuit board back onto its base and then re and then put the screws back in. Now 
Next, we're going to put the screws into power adapter's port. Next, we're going to put the shielding back on and reattach the screws. Okay, after we got the shield on, we just need to replace the screws for this. Okay, next we're going to put the heat sink on. Then we have the clip that goes around the RAM port. And then these two screws go in here. Then we have the clips that we took off the side of the rim, the expansion slot. They're very flimsy metal, so be careful. Final clip. Now it appears as if two screws should go into that, but when I open it up, there's only one screw in the right side. I don't know if that was in, that's supposed to be that way or what, but uh, just in case you encounter the same issue. So the underside is complete and we're going to set it to the side and we'll start on the top half now. Next we're going to attach our doors. Now the doors have a spring right here. Um, as you put it in, let's hold the spring up. Let it set on the inside surface of this. 
Same with the other piece, hold the spring up as you put it in. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually reattach the two halves of the system. Okay, we reattached the two halves of the system together. Uh, the uh, buttons were giving us some issues. Now, when you put this back together, if the power button is in the off position, you just want to make sure that when you put it on, out your power switch is uh, in the off position as well so it lines up correctly. If it's not, it's not going to go back together properly. And if it is, then it goes together perfect. Perfect fit. And then we put the feedback on. Place our screws. For this, we'll need our 4.5 millimeter security bit again. Now, the SNES is my favorite system just because uh, I have the most. It, it was a system that lived with me through the majority of my childhood. We, I mean, we had an in regular or Super Nintendo, but uh, we got our Super Nintendo toward. We had a regular Nintendo, but we got our regular Nintendo toward the end, end of its lifespan. And so the majority of my childhood, I had a Super Nintendo. So that's you know that's the system I have my fondest memories with. But uh, the Nintendo 64 is definitely probably uh, coming in second with that. Um, Zelda 64, you know, it's among my favorite games, if not my favorite game. Well, besides a link to the past. Okay, then we're going to replace our 64DD port cover. Replace our jump pack. And replace our jump pack cover. All that's left now is to hook it up and power it up, make sure it still works just fine. Um, it looks a lot better, a lot better than it did. Uh, it was pretty dirty, pretty nasty. We got this plastic looking really, really nice. Um, and underneath of the power and the reset button, it uh, looks really good as well. So I'm very happy with it. Okay, so I reattached the power supply, and I don't know if you can tell, but uh, this thing, you all, we're getting a red light, so it's good. Um, I don't have any video games to try in it. I don't know where they went. I think my brother actually took them um, a long time ago, but uh, so that's working. Um, the only thing I have left to do is I have the power supply here. I'm going to clean it up real nice, and I, I actually have... My, our original RF switch for that, which is funny. Actually, I actually might be able to hook it up to my current television because it's just standard def. But I would prefer to use composite cables, and I know that they did make composite cables for the system, so I'm going to try to pick some of those up for one day. But I'm going to clean that up as well just because this is ancient. I mean, this is like, I don't know, an antique. So I, I'm going to keep those just as a souvenir. Anyway. So, yeah, that's, that's uh, you know, my Nintendo 64. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my videos so you 